Welcome to my um, totally made bed that I had the time and energy for. If you have not already, because of my obvious charisma, you should go subscribe to my channel. Um, if you don't want to, that's fine too, but just know that now I'm questioning all my life choices. It's okay, I was doing that before I started filming anyways. Um, anyway, so this is my unhinged freshman year recap. To be dead honest, I don't really remember the first half, like, very well at all. Like, literally, but whatever. We're gonna start with Marching Man, because I was in Marching Man during the summer, which meant four weeks of hell, um, and like also like five other weeks of hell scattered in that. A lot of fun. I was in drum line, I was the bass drum. I wasn't all like up in that like giant bass drum, I was kind of like the tiny one, but I did good. And that is obviously, I was mixed up honestly and obviously. That was really fun actually. I recommend joining Marching Man. Very good, especially as a freshman, you get to meet other people in the high school, and then you like know some people when you go in. Yeah, but also so much work. Like, can we talk about it? Because you go in marching man, you work for like hours. I probably, in, just in the summer alone, probably And that's like in your summer, and then when school starts, which is why I don't remember that a lot of it. Ugh, that's why I don't remember a lot of the first half, because it was in the first half during school. Constant practice, games, etc. Number one, um... Can I like please learn how to speak English? Like, properly? Because I like, I'm at the point where I need subtitles to understand myself. Like, oh my god. The snares would play so loud in the bass drums, and it would shake the, the ceiling tiles, and the ceiling would start dropping a bunch of dust, which is totally healthy to, in to inhale, and not just like... Anyways, it was a good time. Also, I'm filming this really early, actually. I'm filming it at 2 o'clock. Because I tried to film one where I was like, why middle school sucks. Because it does. Um, <laughs> I filmed it at 9 p.m. And I was, like, dead. I was like, stop. Oh, my God. I can't do this, guys. I'm too tired. Oh, my God. And then I got, like, really philosophical after watching, like, a Barbie movie trailer. I don't know. It was kind of weird. But I really, I just the one with the Billie Eilish song they knew what they were doing like that had me feeling things and i know that's like really dumb but literally oh my god what what i was like at work today and i was like rethinking my entire life like hello it's a barbie movie i'm kind of scared honestly i really want to see it wait my ring light's not on guys anyways we're gonna start with me going into high school not really my first i was there for marching man like the entire summer english please but my first like official day and they can just come in and right away i'm in a group of people that like i had drama with last year it was really stressful and, but i also was super anxious i was like off like this whole like major anxiety peak so needless to say not the best time however you know it went on we sat through a probably two hour long presentation that was the most i don't even know i like honestly forget it but i just remember like not wanting to be there i like almost had a panic attack but i didn't uh, we made it through. I literally almost had to leave though. But I was also- I was in the middle of a row in the auditorium and it would have caused so much more of a ruckus than me just sitting there like hyperventilating, so. So it's the latter. No, like to our presentation about blah blah blah, this, that, school, this. Just to have another one in like five days. So like, I don't know why that was even existing. But then we toured the school and stuff. It was fine. I already kind of knew the school, so. Um, I did take a class piano. Class. Um, I've been playing piano for like eight years though, so I just took it for like basically a free period to just practice music. Yeah, I also started collecting vinyl around this time and now my collection is like 20. Um, I crushed on and dated a boy, which, um, caused me a lot of stress. Not on really either of our parts, to be honest. I just have bad OCD, so lots of, um, psyching myself out. The usual. It's like not even funny, I'm not Anyways, joking. midterms. My class piano midterm, going back to class piano, I was really, really freaking out about it because I had to play like two pieces. So I learned another piece in about four days and then I played it. And in my opinion, I bombed it because I was really nervous. Plus my band instructor was there, a lot of pressure. I got, I got an A plus, it was fine. I got a hundred percent, but like, I didn't feel like that. Then I went back to my class to practice room and I was banging, <laughs> like, not like banging, but like, I was just like, just like, kind of like, <laughs> like softly against the wall and crying um and then she came in and said oh you have two more of these lessons you have to do online and it was one of the most awkward most humbling experiences in my life honestly really um really kicked off my second quarter crying in a practice room and having your teacher walk in on you after you thought you filled an exam that you got an a plus on anyways uh midterms ate them out with them from next um i started crushing on this boy right anyways this person um, not gonna say name, duh, obviously. Not that he cares about me and watches my videos. 
Um, is I'm really bad with red flags. They're like not my forte. But basically this boy uh, didn't talk to me, ignored me, and talked to everyone else but me. And then probably just didn't like me as a person for assorted reasons I don't want to go into. It's like not even funny. Like I was probably actually so annoying. Like like I wanna put the blame on him, but some of it's on me. Okay, I'll take I'll take it. Yeah, and then I also I forgot to mention the fact on here, which I think is the best way to show how much I don't see red flags, is he's also straight. Um he also would never like me, so like this was only like don't worry, like six months or something. <laughs> I'd like to make a point to say that I was not at this time making any crazy moves, okay? I was aware and I was not like hitting on him. Okay, the most I did was I asked him to hang out once, okay? And it was not even, like, bad, okay? Leave me alone. Nonetheless, it was a really good time. I would say it really improved my mental health, for sure. Yeah, so that's when I turned to romanticizing school, right? But you're like, yes, let's be super studying and really enjoying school and making it so aesthetic. Ugh. And I kind of tried to do that from the beginning of the year, but to be completely honest, my, like, attention span is not long enough for that, like... I don't have time to write everything down and like highlight all my freaking What? No. Hello? Who has time? Who has time? Not me. I don't have time. You don't have time. No one has time for that unless you're doing it for money. And then I would have time. I would make time. But it was just rough. And so I was like, yes, let's really romanticize school. Let's really do it. While well, I was like crushed. So I, once again, as I've said many times, I need this to say, that didn't work out. There wasn't even like cafe study. Ugh. It was more just like, Oh, I, I didn't even get a lot of homework. I would just, I don't know. I had nothing to do, which is when I turned to YouTube with my extremely inconsistent posting schedule. I had a really consistent one for about a month. I don't know. I just got too stressed out with nothing. Nothing was there. I just couldn't function. But yeah, I just kind of lost my human function ability. I also have a really hard time coming up with ideas. Like this took me like two hours. Look forward to some covers. I just put on a new song actually. Anyways, I have to do this faster. A fashion design. I took a fashion design course. I didn't know how to sew, so it was kind of like, it was still very good. I sewed pants. I sewed a dress for Cora, which she's not taken for good reason. It doesn't look very good. And I sewed a pencil case. And it was really inspirational for me. So, yeah. <laughs> but basically, I helped like everyone in the class do their projects because I already knew how to sew. So for the first quarter, I was really pumping. I was getting everything done and doing, ever not doing, helping assist everyone else with theirs up. And then the second quarter, I just like took a major turn for the worst. Like I lost all motivation to do anything. Something was wrong that last quarter of school. Something was wrong and I have not deciphered what it was yet, but something was. That happened though and it was a good time. Like yeah, super stressful. I had to sew clothing and I had deadlines, but like the environment in the class was so like, not, nah, it didn't start off like this, but like in the end it was so like carefree, very like everyone just talked to each other. It was a good time. Next is my math recap. So. I think I'm like two years ahead in math. I don't know. I did algebra two and usually people do algebra one and then you do geometry algebra two. I did algebra one when I was in like seventh grade. I don't know. Anyways, math was hard this year. I really struggled, not really, but it was a lot of mental struggle, a lot of, okay, okay. So I have this theory about school, right? This is completely kind of side joking, but I have the theory that like, and hear me out. So you have school and you have work and you're learning. So you're learning and you use learning to do your work, right? But so you have a really big test and two assignment. My theory is if you study enough to get an A on the test, if you skip an assignment, whatever you make up for it, my whole rule is like B's and above, I'm okay with. C is like, gotta get it up. But a B, if I can take the amount of credit from the thing, the assignments, if I don't do them, I can take that credit, that percentage and apply it to the test, which has a larger impact on your grade. And if, then if I get a B on the test, it comes as getting 100% on the other stuff, if I get an A on the test. So, basically, I have this entire system in my head that lets me skip out on work, which is really fun, totally a good idea, and really productive. But, I mean, honestly, it's pretty foolproof. Do you fail the test and then didn't do the work, like... Anyways, that's Cole's fan theory. It's not really a fan theory, unless... I am a fan of myself, actually. Let's manifest it. 2023. Cole's a fan of himself. Let's go. Anyways, math was... It was fine. Next is biology. My biology recap. I loved that class. Like, I actually loved it. I was really stressed out in eighth grade. I was, like, really not in a good spot. So I was like, let's give myself a really easy class. I did that. And I could have taken advanced biology, but I chose to just take regular biology so I could have an easy period. I can still get back on the advanced track later. One of the best decisions I've made. Love my teacher. The class was just 
a joy to be in, but she invited me to help with like the science competition thing. I just had a passion for it, and I won $100. We were in a group, and all of us got 100 Did that, and that was really good. And overall, 100%, 9 out of 10 for biology. There was a few things that were like, but if that's with every class. Next on the list is new room. Ah, ah. Uh, as you may have been able to tell from my last videos, I moved into a new room, and no one has seen this new room yet because I don't have the energy to pick it up and make it look nice. It actually looks really good right now, so maybe I'll do that in a minute. Yeah, because it looks really cute. Exciting. I was really scared because I've been in my other room for like 10 years. It's a long time. That's a decade. But I'm so glad I moved. It's so refreshing. Anyways, that was my room. I also kind of, and then near the end of the year, end of third quarter, I had a friend break up, which in my opinion, suck. Um, so that wasn't that great. Um, I started playing violin, random amount of whim. Yeah, so that happened. <laughs> I, according to this, um, finally got over the other boy. Ha! The one from earlier. Um, totally. I did. No, I'm over him. It's, like, for me, when I say I'm over someone, <laughs> anyways. I started liking another boy, who I'm not going to talk about because it's still kind of happening and I don't want to expose myself before anything happens, so... But anyways, air testing... Needless to say, the phrase of the video, pretty boring stuff. However, I only had like two or three, so... For anyone who doesn't know, that's like the national testing standard for the US. But they suck and they shouldn't be because they're dumb. Why do we even take finals? But that kind of happened and I think I did good on all of them. Oh, that's the end of my list. Oh, wait, no, my insane ELA final. Okay, hold on. I had the ELA final, which is English language arts. We were reading Romeo and Juliet after we read Tale of Two Cities, which is actually kind of a banger book, to be completely honest. It was pretty fire. <laughs> we were reading Romeo and Juliet. We watched, like, an old movie from, like, the 60s, and then we watched, like, the new movie from the 90s, which was one of the weirdest movies I have ever seen. Brilliant, but so strange. We also watched Nomeo and Juliet, but I was kind of absent for that, so... The ELA final was, we had to, um, you know, rewrite the entirety of the play, um, in modern day terms with slang. And every student got a different section, unsupervised student edited, so you know how that went. Let me actually get the script, we can read some of it. I don't know where it went, and I just got really dizzy, so I'm gonna sit back down. Um, anyways, it was insane. The swearing in that thing was kind of crazy. The terms were off the charts, off the rails, trains, really fun and, and just crazy. And then I left school, and now that was my freshman year. I had a really good year, to be honest, so I hope you enjoyed. Please go subscribe. If you hadn't, comment down below. I usually respond, like the video, share with people, etc, etc, if you want to. If not, that's okay. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'm like, look, I'm crying. It's, I'm not. It's fine. Yeah, so bye. Don't forget to stream my new song too, okay bye.